interesting and most misunderstood creatures. They've been swimming under the sea for over 400 million years and are some of nature's best survivors. They've been on Earth before people, before dinosaurs, even before trees. Of course, I'm talking about... The shark! Are you ready to join me? Nope, I am out. What do you mean? I'm afraid of sharks. Oh, I see. What makes them so scary? Kids listening, you can answer this too. When you think of sharks, what makes them scary? Well, they're big and mean, and they have all these nasty sharp teeth. Hello. Hola. I'm Christina Mittermeier. I'm a marine biologist and a conservation photographer. That means I study animals that live under the sea, and I use photography to help them stay healthy by sharing their stories with the world so that people like you can help them too. That's so cool. I never thought about oceans needing my help. Of course they do. You know, oceans and rivers may not seem like very friendly places to us humans. The underwater world is gigantic, nearly three times the size of all land on Earth put together. And its cold and murky water is filled with animals that seem so strange and different compared to land animals. Plus, we can't breathe underwater. Exactly. But there is one sea creature that we people love, mainly because it's so friendly. Guess what the animal is? I'll give you a hint. Uh, a squeaky bicycle fish? <laughs> no, it's the dolphin. Oh, yeah, dolphins are... Hello. Hola. I'm Christina Mittermeier. I'm a marine biologist and a conservation photographer. That means I study animals that live under the sea, and I use photography to help them stay healthy by sharing their stories with the world so that people like you can help them too. And today, I want to do something a little bit different. What do you want to do? I want to talk a little bit about a comic book superhero character I've created. Really? Cool. What is it? You're really going to love this. My superhero starts off as a mild-mannered, science-loving teenager. But during a school trip, he gets bitten by a radioactive eight-armed creature, and it gets all of its superpowers. Are you serious? Yeah, what do you think? I think that idea has already been taken. Really? Somebody's already thought of Octopus Man? Wait, you gave a superhero the powers of an octopus? Absolutely, I did. <laughs> Octopuses may be the most superpowered animal in the entire world. They are amazing. Any superhero that had all the powers of an Hello. Hola. I'm Christina Mittermeier. I'm a marine biologist and a conservation photographer. That means I study animals that live under the sea, and I use photography to help them stay healthy by sharing their stories with the world so that people like you can help them too. And today, we're going to learn about one of my favorite undersea animals. Do you want to guess what it is? Yeah. OK, here's a hint. This animal has scaly skin, lays eggs, and has a shell on its back. Do you know what the animal is? A turtle. Correcto. Specifically, we're going to talk about sea turtles. What's the difference between sea turtles and land turtles? Well, land turtles evolved to walk on land, so they have legs. Sea turtles evolved to live in the ocean, so instead of legs, they have flippers, 